What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another edition of Brutal Block Reacts with your host, DJ JC. Now, we do have a radio show if you're new to this YouTube channel on Super Cool Radio. If you'd like to listen to the audio radio show, head over to Super Cool Radio and look for Brutal Block. We have new episodes that come out every Tuesday at noon, and it's me just playing music that you probably haven't heard of with the hopes that you find some, if not all, the bands interesting enough for you to add them to your own personal playlist. We've been rocking over there. The community continues to grow. You can also check out our Facebook page at Brutal Block, hosted by DJ JC as well. And join the community. If you're in a band and you'd like to get on that show as well, on the show rather, then hit us up on Facebook and let us know. You can send us your music. I also do a thing called the Monthly Mayhem Roundup. We used to do it once a month on the episodes, but now we're getting so many flyers, we're able to kind of do it every single week. So if you'd like to get your flyer out there, you're performing, you're doing shows, you're on tour, join the group so you can be a part of that as soon as I post those, looking for those flyers for those specific dates, and we can get you on the show. Like I said, if you have music that you want to get on the show, email us at brutalblock at gmail.com or join the group and get a hold of us that way. It's really the quickest way for me to discover you and get you on the show because sometimes I'll make posts as well asking for the music your latest single and we go from there there is a cue so understand that if your music is time pressed let us know and we will work with you guys and we will try to get something going but here on the brutal block youtube page i react to bands a lot of times i pull bands from being on the show previously i don't really give my opinion on music there i just play music and here i wanted to go a little more in depth with the bands and kind of give my opinion on some of these bands and why i like them and why i find them interesting so today we have a band called Source, and this is a pretty interesting song, so let's get into it. So right off the bat, before we even get into vocals, um, I just want to point out me being a bass, being my my majority instrument, my love, if you will, uh, the instrument that I gravitate towards. I play multiple instruments, but bass is my first love. And I will say that the bass is very, very thick, very, very uh, noticeable in this song. Granted, it is just a three piece, so that tends to happen, but I'm loving the bass tone. I'm loving the bass riff in general, along with that guitar. The guitar sound with the drums definitely give me a safety fire type vibe. And then with that bass tone kind of creeping in, in there and cutting through the mix, I'm getting a very intronaut vibe with that bass. So you have an intronaut meets the safety fire. I'm already liking where this is headed. fucking bass dude like bravo to that bass player great tone great fucking tone and just an awesome riff that's just kind of playing along it goes really well with the drums it's 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 complementing the drums very well too but it's just playing with those vocals and i'm really digging it also i just want to point out i love the simplicity of this video as well you just have kind of a girl doing her thing with the band in a white room it's not over complicated very simplistic something that i i definitely dig as well And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they're also playing in an odd type odd time signature. And I could be wrong there, but I don't think that's a standard four four. But it's still, it's an odd times time. It's an odd time signature that sounds 
not so much like an odd time signature, if that makes sense. I know Tool's kind of really good at doing that too. There's there's certain bands out there that, that are really good at that where they can, uh, and like I said, Intronaut's really good at that shit too. Safety Fire's pretty good at it as well. But I like when those bands do that. Dillinger's another band that's pretty good at that. I, I like when bands can take something that's kind of odd timing, but write it in a way where it still has that groove and you can still kind of jam to it. But like I said, I could be wrong. I don't know music theory very well. Correct me if I'm wrong there, guys. <laughs> I really like how soothing his voice is certain words that he says and, and the cadence kind of reminds me a little bit of 12 foot ninja uh, when he sings. But other than that, I think you have a very unique voice that fits very well with the style that you guys are playing. And it's very soothing. I, I, I'm really enjoying how you decided to go with that vocal style with this music. I think it's fit, it fits really well. And it really gives a very laid back vibe to this, even though the bass and the drums are kind of doing some really cool shit. And, and, and that bass is really bringing a really nice low in there's even with the guitars, there's a little bit of a chunk there, but it still very calming and very soothing with, because of the, the vocals. Yeah, vocally, I'm getting a lot of a mix between 12 Foot Ninja and Opeth. Um, I don't know if you guys hear that too, but I'm, there's a very like Opeth vibe mixed with, with 12 Foot Ninja. I'm, I'm digging it, man. I really like it. I, I think this is some really cool, chill music. It's, 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 yeah, I'm digging it, man.
I think a band like this definitely could benefit from having another guitar player. Overall, I think the music is done very well. I think they're really good songwriters. And I really like the elements that the guitar player adds textually. I think if they had a second guitar player to kind of play off of that, I think they could really do some really cool stuff. Uh, but overall, I think, yeah, very, very, very good stuff. Let, let, let me rephrase that. It's not needed, but I definitely could see an addition being done, uh, elevating it to another level, but it's not needed. They, they, I think they got, they got something here. interesting that he his guitar solo tone matches his voice very well I, I know he's using some like effects on his vocals so i don't know if he's using the same on the guitar solo but that's that's interesting that his guitar solo fits kind of the same sound that he's getting out of his voice <laughs> So this solo is giving me Pink Floyd vibes. This, these guys are very unique. Uh, they, they're, they're pulling a lot of elements from a lot of different bands, and, and I'm, I'm really digging it. But I get a very Pink Floyd vibe in the solo. Maybe it's the way he's doing the solo or, like I said, the tone that he has, but very, very, very good. Very Pink Floyd. I love resolves like that, man. That was that was a very satisfying resolve. I love that. Very, very well done. So that again was the band Source. My final summations on the band, I guess I could say, is one, I love the blending of the intro. Like I said, very Intronaut meets Safety Fire. This is a band that I could see going on tour with Intronaut, doing very well. I could see them going on tour with Good Tiger, which is the guitar players from the Safety Fire. They're no longer around, so they, are, they have a new band called Safety Fire. I could definitely see this band going on tour with them. I could even see this band going on tour with Opeth, like I mentioned earlier. There's a lot of elements to this band, and this band is a lot deeper than I think people probably are going to give this band credit for. I really, really, really enjoy what they're doing here. The sound that they have is very chill, but haunting at the same time. Like I said, the bass tone is very muddy yet clear. The drums are very, very, very intronaut inspired as well. A lot of cool feels and just 
I like that the drummer didn't overdo it. He he played and, and created a drum part that fits that flow and vibe very, very well. Very good songwriters, very, very good. I, I, I really enjoyed that track. I'm definitely gonna be looking into more of this band, but I found this song and played it on Brutal Block actually a couple episodes ago. And it's one of the songs from that particular episode that just kind of stuck out to me. It's very different from the rest of the show, but in a good way. It, it, it's, it's very metal, but also very, very relaxing. It's something that I could I could sit down with a bourbon and a cigar and, and just just vibe to it, man. Uh, or take some gummies and, 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 and go go to another fucking planet and just have fun with it. Very, very good, guys. I really do enjoy your stuff. I'm really excited to check out more. Um, and if, if you want to check out more of Source, I will leave a link down in the description to that particular video so you can go and give them some love. Give them some likes. Give them a sub. Leave some comments. Help get them into the algorithm because Lord knows they are a very talented band and more eyes should be on this band. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Source, if you're watching this, keep up, keep up the great work. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are awesome, man. And like I said, I, I personally think if you guys can find another guitar player that fits, and again, that's a, I don't think it could be just any guitar player. It's got to be a guitar player who understands what it is you guys are trying to create, and 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 understands the the elements that need to be in play when writing music with you guys. I think you guys uh, would be a fun group of guys to be a fly on the wall watching the writing process because every instrument played their role. Only being a three piece, you guys definitely sounded fairly big, but I think that that, that second guitar player or even maybe a keyboardist to help kind of build that that that, that feeling, that vibe even more. Um, I, th I think having that at y'all's disposal will give you a little bit more freedom to have a little more fun creatively but overall man as a three piece you guys are killing it and i'm really excited to check out more of your stuff everybody else that's watching this don't forget to go to super cool radio and check out brutal block our audio radio show it is a one hour metal show every tuesday at noon and i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if there's any bands that i should be checking out and should have on my radar that i should react to and i'd be more than happy to do that Again, this channel is really just to give my opinion and go deeper into the bands that have been on the show already. So if you want to hear more metal bands and want to add more new bands to your playlist or just to your your collection of metal bands, then like I said, go check us out on Super Cool Radio. Shout out to Matthew Thomas and Super Cool Radio. Without them, we would be nothing. Without you minions constantly coming and checking us out, we would be nothing. And of course, without the awesome bands making killer music and allowing us to play them on the show, we would be done. So thank you, and I will see you on the next one.